we live in a place where everybody depends on different guys to get things done. You have your AC guy, you have your mechanic guy, you have your food guy, you have your laundry guy. There's only one thing that happens as a result of that, your time gets wasted. And of course, sometimes you get frustrated. And we were also frustrated and we decided that if we're going to do something that's going to dramatically improve quality of life in Nigeria, this is what we'll do. The current incarnation of Eden offers people food, laundry, and cleaning on a recurring basis. And once they set up the services on Eden, they forget about it forever because it happens automatically week over week. The first practical step that we took was, was market research. It's like, let's, let's talk to as many people as we can talk to and ask them, it's like, if you only had to worry about one guy, would you use that one guy over managing your own, like, 50 guys that are unreliable? And for the most part, people were like, yeah, if I had one guy who was reliable, like, I'd use him. The biggest hurdle is trust. It's like, I'm gonna grant access to someone to come into my home. And so for us, we invest heavily in background checking. We invest also in insurance to make sure that like, if anything happens in a customer's home, we're gonna take responsibility. And once we cross those hurdles, the next challenge, of course, is, is the actual quality of the service delivery. For that single reason alone, we make sure that we actually supply all of the products that the, that the cleaners use. Missing items is one of the most frequent problems that happens with, with laundry services. But then, how do you solve that? A simple tagging process so we have to innovate around creating tagging and tracking systems that are, that are more digital and do not actually like harm the physical integrity of the clothes. We're built to rely on a network of um, service providers. It works great for laundry, it works great for cleaning. For food, it, it is harder. And that's why we decided to just produce our own food. Since then, we've been able to control every single point of quality. This is my lunch today. This, this came straight out of Eden's own production facility. I'm gonna eat it right here if you don't mind. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> we first started out to build to build for people who are already thinking the way that we think. People who already believe that their time is, is more important than the effort they put into mundane things. People who are already outsourcing um, food, laundry, and cleaning to other people, but I'm not getting the service that they deserve. If we did not fully commit, we would not have come this far. So the biggest impact of just deciding to fully commit and focus is that we're, we're able to give it everything that we have. One of the end games of what Eden is doing is transforming the service culture. It's transforming how we treat services or how we treat chores are they our responsibilities or are they just things that we need that we can delegate to people? Do we have to do that? I think the productivity of a population changes when people make that switch.